Well, welcome back, everybody. Hope you got something nom nom to eat. Hope you got all your uh, energy refilled. I know I did. Uh, it's a really chilly day here in Missouri. So nice comfort food was here on the menu for me. But what's also on the menu is now we are getting down to the business end of the St. Charles Overwatch 2 Invitational. Myself and Tiny Shiny on the mic here with you to bring you mm -hmm. the rest of the action here today. Tiny, talk about our next matchup. Oh, yeah, we got one team that we've seen on stream already. One that we had very high praises about going up forward. That will be FCC Spartans. We got to see them uh, in actually the round one game. Went down to three maps. We had to reverse sweep against the Fox Warriors. And here they are. They're still in that upper bracket, ready to take on the home team. The St. Charles, Charles Cyber Corsairs going through this. And this is an important match, Bill. You want to know why? Because the winner of this game advances to the grand finals for all the marbles going on through. So winning this match here, that's your straight ticket to the grands. If you end up losing, yeah, you haven't lost the game yet. So you will have to beat down one more team to get back up to those grand finals. But this is an important game. You want to get through. You don't want to take those extra steps. We've been playing a lot of Overwatch today. A lot of these guys, they're going to start to get tired. You're going to start to feel that fatigue, which is why this game one that you really have to win. Well, we are taking a look at, once again, the Spartans from Francis Howell, JD, Kata, Dashing, oh ESC, Superhoff, and V-Man Trio. We, well, they, they had a pretty good match earlier today, didn't they? I, they had a oh, fantastic yeah. time. <laughs> and then over on the other side, the team that we have not seen, the Cyber Corsairs from St. Charles, your home team, Ali, Bread, Joshua, Cheeky Scrub, Carlin, I smell bacon. Nolan, Windowmaker, <laughs> love that. And love Elijah, that. Silent Ice. So five members here for the ju or for the senior squad here from Cyber Corsairs. We saw their, their junior squad save yeah. themselves from elimination in the lower bracket. So we shall see what we shall see here from St. Charles going up against Francis Howell. Francis Howell, well, a lot of teams called uh, them the prohibitive favorites, but you know what? I think yeah. that the home team might have a little bit of home team bias. Oh, 100%. I mean, this is your crowd. This is your school, and I want you guys to be hyped for it. We haven't seen St. Charles High yet in the stream today, and I am most looking forward to see what they got cooking for Nepal. are actually starting out on the control map for the very first time today, Billy. Yeah. So, very brawl-oriented map, with the exception of the Oddball Sanctum. Still can run brawl, but this is where things can get shaken up, get a little bit silly based on your comfort pick. So, Starting out with a big old map with the pit in the middle. I love it. I love it. I, I, I think this is a quintessential map. I Everybody likes to go to Lijiang Tower, but I actually prefer Nepal. I think Nepal yep. gives you two very brawly looks and then an outlier uh, where you can play something a little different. You can play with disruption. You can play with uh, range. So uh, for Francis Howell, I mean, we saw how good the dashing Orissa was earlier today. Now we're going to get a chance to see what Cheeky Scrub is going to bring to this uh, comp competition. Yep. And 10 seconds to go. I mean, you're looking at Reaper Bastion and a Bap Lucio backline. This is great. Both teams are actually showing us this. So there's going to be a lot of sustain. It's going to take a lot to take down one of these competitors. There's just so much to be seen. I think the biggest difference, though, that we're going to find is the Orisa versus the Zarya. The Zarya has a much higher damage output in that regards, but doesn't have nearly the same amount of staying power or range uh, that you might see from the good old fashioned battle panel that Francis Howell have taken out. So they're gonna be in control of this very first choke point. Adjack rotated all the way around the map. We've, I think both teams kind of did a ring around the rosy kind of style and uh, no, it's Francis Howell that will end up on the objective and will be claiming that first half, which on Sanctum, a lot teams do not fight on the objective first but i guess your friends how and you have jd who mind you has rip tire i'm getting flashbacks billy i am getting a big old flashbacks to jd's junk right claims the first elimination of the match has the rip tire and the rest of st charles they're still trying to figure out if they can push or not actually catch jd in a position that they should have been punished but a wonderful immortality field from super Hawks to keep them alive that's the rip tire coming out and the double kill onto the supports it's only been a minute billy we've seen all of the actions fight one yep and i mean i smell baking has gotten themselves off the map so i mean you get the rip tire out of the way it's 33 percent and counting 
really, I mean, I don't think the Zarya's going to work here. You don't have enough bubbles to keep up, and he and, and JD will reload halfway through a clip and then just come back at you again. So that's the big problem right now is how do you get past the, the spam damage coming in versus the burst coming out from this from this yeah. bastion. Chris, you're seeing right now that the immortality field that had to be used, and you still end up losing your back teeth between the Bastion and the Junkrat. I mean, St. Charles Eye, this is a brutal composition to have to push through any choke point with, and the Zarya just isn't going to be the answer to do so. I'm assuming they're holding on to it because they have this Graviton Surge, but I mean, look how much space X FHC are taking right now. I mean, there's nothing that is in their way. They can continue to push up. The application matrix will force them back. Nice Graviton Surge, though. Gives them a little bit more time to work with, but again, the sound barrier is there, the artillery strike. I mean, there's just something, always something, for the Spartans to be able to work off of. This has got to be a Zarya reset. I mean, you, you cannot keep pushing into this. This is the definition of insanity, is trying to continue to do the same thing with a different result. Uh, I mean, I, I'd love to see a D.Va here. That would be great to be able to mitigate damage. I'd like to see a Sigma uh, even better for me. Uh, oh, in this tire. There's another tire. Oh, everyone got so low. The immortality field did exactly what it needed to do. And Brent Sound Barrier would have been great had they been able to break through the choke point. I mean, this was a dominant map number one from Francis Howell. And, you know, we kind of mentioned that this is the oddball of all of the objectives that you can play this differently. The choke point's much harsher. But as we head into our next maps, I don't expect them to change any of their composition. There isn't a need for them to do so. Whereas St. Charles High... I would love to see something switch up, especially in that tank department. I mean, you have more room to work here, though. But if yeah. you're sorry, I mean, that, that first point is so claustrophobic. The chokes are so condensed that you just you have no way to get through them, especially when you're going to go up against the junk and the bastion. So I think here, uh, if you path correctly, you, you know, you've got three different ways to get onto the point. And I think that's, you know, completely separate than what we see, you know, on, on Sanctum. So here at Shrine, You've got a little bit more to work with, and I, I think they need to really conserve their amps uh, when they decide to speed on top of a target, but never mind. Windowmaker already got this. This fight is already good as done. Yep, and you just don't have the damage. You don't have the damage to keep pushing up into this. Dashing is afraid of absolutely nothing right now, and if you have all the cooldowns, you rotate them through. Silent Ice going to be caught out once again. Thank God, this DPS line that Francis Howell have set up is absolutely absurd. I mean, Kata is actually ahead of JD, which is not normal. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, getting the work done on the Bastion. So if it's not the Junkrat, it's the Bastion that's going to kill you. Dashing just holds space, mitigates whatever they feel like it. And, I mean, you're just feeding so much over old charge over to the, to the supports if you do take damage. I mean, how do you get on the point here? They're going for another rotation, which is better than going through the main choke, but you're still on the low ground, and oh. you're just going to get flipped off the map. Windowmaker uh, doesn't even get to the edge of the map. Was burned down before that, but Scott is still on this high ground. And that's the thing, though, is dashing takes all of the attention away from the DPS and lets them do their thing. I mean, the teamwork that the Spartans work with right now is just something else. I mean, watch how they herded poor bread into that wall. Yeah. And then Kata was ready to go just right off the off the rip. So, I mean, that's the late stagger, 50% and counting. They've already lost the first map. They're going to look, be looking down the face of match point should they not be able to get on the point. They're still running the Zarya. I guess it's more of a comfort pick for Cheeky Scrub here. And yeah, you can have the potential to burn some of these players down. But if you can't even get close with the Junkrat and the Bastion, it's just not the pick that you can work with. And they're like, they're literally, they're corralled into the corners. But the ultimate's being thrown out. That was only the artillery strike. There's still four to go. And Francis Howell, they're not even going to need them. It's one more fight for St. Charles High to try to get on this objective. And they don't have a lot to work with. Nope, and that's it. I mean, that should be it right there. I mean, it'll be a 10 second respawn or a five second respawn. Uh, we're at 86%. You Now you switch to Reinhardt? I'm, come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, if the Rift Fire doesn't pull them up first, but the combination of the Terra Shirt, Dashing S, and JD working together in tandem once again. Spartans making quick work of map number one. You can tell they want to go to these finals. 200 to zero. And it was all based off of compositional difference. That's the difference. It's, it's the difference between a Zarya and an Orisa. And if you cannot play 
uh, like a Honden on a Zarya. Um, you're never going to get the value. <laughs> no, you're seriously. I mean, th you're this play, this is better than some collegiate play that we, we cast. Oh, 100%. You and I cast a lot of, of collegiate play, okay? And this is, like, next level. Like, their understanding of how to rotate, how to take pressure, how to corral. You, it's like herding cats on our screen. Like, they are literally putting them where they want them to and lining them up into, and, into Kata. And Kata's just like, done. Seriously, we, you can't understate the skill level that some of these teams have and... It is, it, it's amazing to me, and, and to you as well. Like you said, we have tons of, you're, like, we maybe have, like, we have hundreds of hours, right? Watching and casting collegiate gameplay. We are allowed to say that this looks better than a lot of the teams that we can see out there. You have the potential to go ahead, but when it comes down to those fundamentals, what heroes are you picking? Are you making those proper changes? Those are some of the things that are going to hold you back in the long run, no matter how good your teamwork actually is. Well, we're going to get our next map. It is going to be Eichenwalde. So uh, we're heading to Germany for our hybrid map. This is our normal map rotation in most competitive uh, most competitive scenes. You usually start on control, then you go to a hybrid. Uh, I've actually enjoyed the breath of fresh air that this uh, tournament has yep. given us. Uh, not starting on uh, control uh, and giving us, you know, uh, I mean, flashpoint to start and push to start. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, sometimes hybrid to start, but St. Charles, they're going to come out on the attack here. So defensively from the Spartans of Francis Howell. I mean, you're looking at that V-Man going to the Kitiko. So you're looking for damage there. Uh, Superhoff is going to continue on this Baptista. Has been so clean all day. But dashing actually showing us the Sigma here. We did not. I don't remember if we had a chance to see the Sigma come out. I know that we've seen a Ryan, We've seen an Arissa. And we've seen a Junker Queen question mark. We did see a little bit of the Sigma, actually. It was on okay. Watchpoint with Ralter. When That's they got right. That the paper, yes. So this is a very, very good pick for them. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and yeah, JD is just going to have fun here. But I, I like the Ryan pick now. I, okay, it says you, you have more frontline staying power. Uh, you've got the yeah. F speed. You can just run past. Uh, and you know, you got to find, you got to find a pick. Teleporter. All right, you're in the back line now. What are you going to find? Your Baptiste is cut out, isolated, and separated, dealt with. That's what we're seeing from the Spartans, is that in the midst of chaos, their ability to focus fire is just so impressive that they pull out these fights for teams. They try to teleport in the middle of them, Billy. Try to catch them off guard. It just doesn't work. I mean, they turn as one. I mean, that, that's the big yeah. thing, is that they turn as one and deal with the threat and then move on to their separate assignments. So, I mean, they understood the assignment, and uh, if they take the teleporter to the top of bridge, then they can get on top of them and really go into this full board. Yeah, and this is a little bit better, because now you have the opportunity through the bridge, right? That, in theory, is the harder part. The geolith, but look at this aim, the tracking from Kata right now. It's another teleport to rotate to the back of the objective. All right, much closer. And St. Charles, they actually have the amplification matrix up here. If they can start to work with the Subang, their Baptiste lives. Silent Ice got incredibly low once again. Remember, now going to the high ground. This is a lengthy, lengthy bit of movement here. And I am totally a fan for it, but you need to act now because you're just going to take a beating uh -oh. from JD. Uh-oh. Uh oh, you see it, Billy. You see it. I see it too. It's a rip tire coming on through. We'll be popping it on the high ground, looking for everybody, but the shield! The shield will eat all of the damage. Everybody from St. Charles, yes, they're still alive, but Francis is on the chase. They're not going to let them out of their sight so oh easily. My God. And there's JD coming. Double mind plus some. Oh, Francis, ow. They're just watching their opponents walk around them and choose the perfect moment to engage. I mean, put the shatter out there too. It just oh. lives because uh, immortality barrier exists. <laughs> yep. I mean, they did that uh, off the back of one ultimate tiny. That last fight that they just won was in the neutral, and that's how dirty they are. They went into an amp matrix. They just went past it. Caught it once again with the tracking, the aim, the precision. This is not your ordinary high school Overwatch team. Let me tell you right now, the rotations are absolutely flipping disgusting. I really hope 
that these players are competing on, like, in, in some of these national tournaments as well, because they are insane with what we've seen from them today. And I mean, they have, again, they have so many ults, but, but who needs them when you have Kata, when you have JD, to find these eliminations before the fights even start? St. Charles, they all have almost a minute. That's it. Just a minute. Find something, and they just don't have the tools to work with. It makes me proud to be a Missouri boy. I, I just gotta say, it makes me <laughs> proud to be from this. For, to, 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 I mean, this is my home, and I mean, this place is just uh, this is just great. Overwatch, jeez, jeez, yeah. so good, so good. Ooh. And look, here's the thing, though, St. Charles, they're not out of it yet. That's the sound barrier. Plus, the engage on Dakota, so they don't have that hard engage to worry about. And, and here's the thing, though, you're still walking into the pro ultimate. You, you have to try to oh. be optimistic. Hope that you can come out a win at the photon barrier. Looking very nice on the objective. Blocks off the consume. I rush, and it gets real with JD before it even happens. Who's going for some sort of crazy play, but it never occurred. St. Charles somehow managed to get this point away because of Francis Howell. They didn't react to time. I mean, great rotation. I mean, the, yeah. you know, eventually they're going to get the, the speed of the rotations around. They get it done and it, it cost the photon barrier. But I mean, it completely devalued that Kitsune rush. So actually 9000 IQ from the Symmetra there. I smell bacon actually winning the fight for them. But Cod is not done yet. Reinhardt, lone Reinhardt on the high ground here going for a pin off the top ropes, I would presume, but uh, okay, yeah, no tank in the in the field, so uh, just say, Charles, start to back off, don't hang out around here too much longer, unless you're waiting for Kata to drop down from the heavens, okay, you go ahead and take those all seven days of the week, so when you're back on the move, the teleporter back up to the high ground, this is a great composition for them to be running, Are they ready for the rip tire, though, just a sliver of health left back on it, and Silent Ice will win the race against time, and Oh, that is a big step. The Baptiste is still alive, but it's high ground somehow. Francis have maintained control of it this whole time. Regardless of all the chaos that was going on, they backed off just enough to keep a couple players up there. I like this. I, I mean, Todd is not done. Todd is going to go in what? with the attack. That, are on. you kidding maniac. me? Maniac! You maniac! What in the world did we just watch, Billy? You do not do that to just anybody. I mean, that is Kata saying, I am better and I can do this just to get their team win out of 1v2. My game. That's what he said. Yep. My game. Uh, and just completely got it done. So they know where the rotations come from. Oh my God, they're in a small room with very, very little room to move. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to be in there. You don't want to be in there. Nope, 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 nope. We do not need more rip tires on my screen today. You take the fight to the high ground, cheeky scrub. Now this is what we're talking about. Akata goes down, dashing off the map. Oh, this should be some significant progress that St. Charles are able to game. And the fact that it didn't cost any ultimates is huge for this later engagement. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly what they needed. Uh, and, you know, they're going to take control of bridge here. They have high ground control as well. So, I mean, as long as, as Cheeky, Cheeky needs to push up. Cheeky needs to be on the other yeah. end of this bridge. And we see the swap now over to the Arisa. This is actually Danger Danger Will Robertson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going off the map today. Whether because of Lucio or Frida will never actually know. And maybe they don't because everyone's exploding between the amplification matrix dashing, moving their way into the line actually of st charles just to disrupt nobody turning around to look at the rissa and hey what can you do with the battle cattle has made their mark in the team this is essentially the final fight there's not another opportunity for st charles to even get on the payload nobody is near maybe bread pulls off some crazy parkour it looks like that they're trying to go for it are they going to get the touch yes but no support gained and fighting in a kitsune rush this is going to be something crazy for bread to pull out the sound barrier hits onto a couple of their teammates junkrat in the back line jd a threat as ever the terror surge coming in pulling them all together it's just the tank remaining and cheeky scrub doesn't have the health to keep on fighting st charles high are gonna get the stop just before the third point uh but now we know that francis howell can bleed and i think that's a big takeaway here for st charles is that they made the spartans bleed they were smart with their rotations they started working really well as a five person unit and i think that's where they started doing their best as they played together uh we don't need to see these crazy flanks coming from people we need you guys to play as five you do need to keep a little bit of your spacing but yeah i mean for the most part that was actually better from the cyber corsairs they can get it done here and they still have all the time in the world 
Yep. I mean, they, they, they are, we are in the upper bracket here, folks, just to remind you. So there is a safety net, uh, a safety net here for your cyber Corsair, should they go down to the Spartans. But I, I think that there's time. I think there's time. Yep. Ice meal bacon going over to the May. This is going to be great. Ooh, Got to okay. section off the da dashing uh, Orissa, okay. or if they decide to go to the Sigma. Oh, there's some there's there's some serious uh, games afoot here. Tiny, I like this. I like this a lot. This is the adaptation that we wanted to see after Nepal, St. Charles High Varsity. They must have been listening to us, Billy, because this is the perfect change for them to make to use this choke point to their biggest advantage. Ice meal bacon have a ton of impact just by playing this May trying to isolate dashing from the rest of the team and negating some of the value that the DPS has been getting so far. I mean, there's the wall, but it's not yeah. nearly as good as I thought it was going to be, but I mean, they have a chance. They have a chance. There's Ooh. a lot of damage coming Ooh. in. Oh my God, bye-bye. Oh, that, that was too close. You're playing with fire from St. Charles High from playing that far up, but a nice <laughs> boom, scrub, yeah. scrub. What a cheeky play, to be totally honest with you. That's caught up Ivancho. Going for a dive off the cliffs of Eichenwald and St. Charles I. Oh, you be thanking your Reichardt for keeping you in this point. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I don't know how that happens. Uh, I mean, perfect. And I, I, I thought he got off. I thought he went off the map. He actually stops his pin oh. right at the edge. And look at this. Wow. I mean, they have turned this fight around. This is exactly oh, what St. Charles needed. We, we knew they could do it. There was no doubt about it, Billy, but they actually had to execute it properly. And now they're back at this choke point. You have a second chance to use these May walls under the bridge. You don't need to jump the gun. Take your time. Let them push into you. Let them be the ones to make mistakes that you can punish. But they don't expect the Sebexa. So Francis have a straight path toward the objective. The Earth Shatter laid down. I believe it only landed on Dakota, who had plenty of support to keep them alive. But the window will be the nail in the coffin for Francis's push. They did make some switches themselves, but not enough to counteract the ultimate advantage. Oh, I mean, great feeling, uh, great positioning, great LOS, right? and being able to rotate that quickly. They recognize the rotation. They pick it up nicely. The shatter forces out so many cooldowns, and they yep. back it up on the end of it. So, I mean, artillery strike here to keep yourself in. Uh, you know, give yourself a little bit extra damage to see if they can finish on the back of it. Not only that, but they also have the blizzard, and there's not much to do against that. Sure, you have the sound barrier, but you don't peek, window maker. You don't peek the window when you are 2 HP. Oh, this blizzard needs to come up big to compensate for the loss of the Basha, but it only hits Lucio and cancels the sound barrier, as a matter of fact. But uh, you, you, you don't move up. You don't have the back. You don't have the damage. Your key player was down, so St. Charles High are going to end up losing out on the first point. Well, I mean, they do hold. Uh, for quite a bit of time. So, I mean, for them, that's a win. You know, 4.15 yep. or 4.10 on the clock. You still got the artillery strike. You're, you've got the sound barrier. You forced V-bands out. So, yep. I mean, you that, that's a win. In my book, uh, if you can get sound barrier out to force them to use it, it's the slowest generating ult in our game. So, I think for them, they need to really move it on the back of this. Uh, I mean, JD, uh, showing that they're a truly versatile uh, DPS player, bringing the Symmetra. They, they got to watch for these rotations. That's the big kicker for them right now. Especially when you see the St. Charles, they're not holding on the high ground, which a single teleporter from JD here is essentially going to take that all away. The Ant Matrix slowly pushing with solid ice. Oh, no. The Baptiste took a dive off of the bridge. And, well, thankfully, St. Charles was able to get aggressive, but it cost them the sound barrier here. Difficult. That is a difficult situation. But, you know, they made the best of it. They do get the fight win. Uh, you know, and they take a minute off the clock. So, I mean, you know, theoretically, it's still three fights uh, to get you all the way through. And, I mean, with the Shatter coming up, that's absolutely massive. Yeah, with the Shatter, there's not much to block this one off. It's the then an Orissa Fortify, so you're looking pretty good right now. Cheeky Scrub showing up on the Reinhardt thus far. And actually a pin down from the back line. My goodness, getting in incredibly aggressive on the German tank hero, and it works out perfectly to their favor. Yep, but I mean, the heals are going through. They didn't even amp them through. Uh, they, they didn't even need the amp. 
the speed through to get them away. That's good. Uh, that's good awareness here from the Lucio. Uh, V-Man Trio has been absolutely stunning today uh, on either the Kiriko or on this. And now the Photon Barrier comes out, splits, puts the payload in half. Going to split it and give a little bit more cover to Dashing as they utilize their ultimate, but she struck from the high ground. Can they make this happen? No, the oh. Barrier and the boop! Beautiful counterplay, Francis Howell. Central Spartans not going to be stopped that easily. No, but I mean that was that was everything that it needed to be and more. And I mean the stagger here could be so good. I mean they got the uh, they got the uh, the blizzard out as well and yeah. completely devalued once again. That's two blizzards that have been completely for naught. No less than ideal here and oh no, they're not out of the water yet okay a fire strike that's be man trio going down the matrix that's gonna help a little bit kata laying in the cover fire though look how low a lot of these players on st charles are kata is just shredding through all of them at matrix with their own to back it up francis howell they're so close to going to the grand finals all they need to do close out this one last fight final player has fallen can anybody else make a statement from st charles high school no they will not that's the Spartans advancing to the Grand Finals. All right. So, I mean, Spartans, you know, picking up where they left off the last time we saw them. You know, they did go three maps in their first series. Let's remind everybody. So they can yeah. bleed. But it seems like they are really coming into gamer hours now. They are starting to really be awake and they're starting to really focus as a five-person unit. And this app matrix absolutely oh. obliterates the team. Won the game. Won the game. And, like, that's what you do is you give Kata the resources to succeed. When you do so, you're gonna win the fight. You're gonna win the whole game, as a matter of fact. I mean, they're in the grand finals, I and mean, they deserve to be. We heard about one team heading into this game, and it was them, right? It was Francis. We were, we were told that they are expected to come out on top of it all with the skill. They've proven to us that they have that skill, but have not been completely flawless along the way. There are still teams sitting around in this lower bracket. St. Charles, they're not out of it yet either. They still have the losers finals that they're gonna drop down to take on another team and have the potential to return later on. Well, I mean, maybe they didn't put all the strats out there. Maybe they're expecting to make it to that grand final via the loser bracket final. But, you know, we'll have a chance here to see that soon. We're gonna take a quick little break. We'll be back with you in just a few minutes.